Hi, um, so hello YouTubers, and today I'm doing a slightly different thing. This isn't a review, this is um, a look at uh, the customised sonic screwdriver I use in my um, 6 second ventures series. Oop, I keep knocking the tripod here. So basically, the core of this, this is a third doctor sonic screwdriver. Um, one of the original ones that was released, and unfortunately after years of use um i think it was last year it's uh this it's uh broke unfortunately um the spring and the sound chipping side unfortunately broke uh, after a few years of use i do have uh other third doctor sanctuary drivers so i thought why not uh, do a modded version which i can use for my six hack adventure series to make it look a bit more unique so uh, we'll start with the head. I actually removed uh, the head piece at one point, but decided to keep it. And basically, uh, at the back here, if we'll focus, you can see uh, this little piece here is actually a piece of um, a Poundland uh, earphone glued onto the back of the emitter to make it look a bit more um, unique. And actually, uh, the wires going here and going out are actually um, pieces of uh, the earphone as well. Just to make it a bit more, again, you, you can see the wire here and the wires there. I wanted it to have a more cobbled together look uh, rather than the more scientific, straightforward one. Because in um, 6x last day of life and after the attack the first two 6x adventure stories uh, I used a fourth copter sonic screwdriver I thought um, for our mind uh, bending on I used this one and um, so anyway so I, I had a broken circuit board here uh, which was uh, I believe was from either a walkie talkie or a radio one of the two being see uh, I s you know snapped it up a bit and uh, glued it to the handle and you can see one of the chips there which has just been glued on uh, the couple of capacitors again from this circuit board uh, again from the circuit board here is a ribbon wire which uh, has just been glued on there's one there and there's also one at the top that goes around and there's a little uh, spring as well here and uh, to get this to be um, more of the well it's actually more of a grey rather than uh, silver which I was originally wanting it to be but you see this part here is a sticker which you can pull off and uh, it's actually just bare yellow underneath, so I uh, scraped all the yellow paint off to make it grey. And at the bottom here, this is um, duct tape, which goes all the way around the handle. And um, this is uh, basically um, to get rid of uh, those lines, because I was never a big fan of those lines. And so, and uh, actually, things do glue better to this than the hard plastic. See here, uh, an empty USB port there. This was actually an SD card um, reader that was broken, so I took the metal plate off, stuck it. This actually, I don't think this one is actually stuck here. I think this is just held by f friction, really. Uh, again, the other part of the USB port, so you got a part there and a part there, and then can't read a bit there which has a permanent mark with the letter S on it and I've never bothered to remove it for some reason uh, you can see here this is uh, the spring section uh, of uh, the radio or walkie talkie it was either one of the two which is just stuck uh, to the bottom and the reason is to mainly just cover up uh, the speaker hole on the bottom of the sound chip because obviously it's the sound chip's phone but also I had an idea that um, maybe uh, in some stories I, 
I could um, actually uh, use it like that. Uh, the collar section does still work, it still pulls down like this. Uh, though I did remove uh, the spring because the spring um, had basically uh, started to actually um, come to pieces where it would uh, get jammed that so it's actually just this one uh, is actually just uh, friction driven up and down and just add the sound effects you know I just pull down and push back up easy peasy mm. um, another thing I want to talk about um, the reason why these pieces are on the side is uh, for recognition so I want it to, uh, to have some isomorphic controls on this sonic screwdriver so it could only be used by me obviously you know you like this doesn't work you can but uh, that's why the placements are as they are because uh, I'm left handed so I hold the sonic in my left hand and uh, I made these positionings for specifically my hand so it would fit perfectly to my hand so I can hold the screwdriver firmly like so but yeah let me know what you think of this um, sonic screwdriver um, custom uh, it was basically yeah it was just so I'd have a, a more slightly more unique looking sonic screw I did consider painting at one point but I do really like uh, the red emitter and um, the silver handle color scheme so I kept it as is but anyway uh, thank you for watching and goodbye <laughs>